Hi everyone, I received the question on how could someone display the first name and the last name of a person when they're entered into a people picker control. So let's open up new text forms and select new responsive designer. And today we're going to look at uh, the user profile function if you're not familiar with it. If you know that, you can probably skip this video and I look at some of my other videos. So let's go down to SharePoint, uh, we'll add a people picker, let's get rid of attachments control, uh, let's call this person lookup and let's also add a label so we can get a feel for what comes out when we, we use that control. So through to here, do square brackets and we'll go person lookup and we'll publish that. Now usually when I'm building a form I'm using two screens and I will switch between uh, the form, the, what we call the runtime and the designer. So I can have them both open at the same time, I'll press publish and switch, switch across to my other monitor. Today we're just going to use um, the two tabs because you can't see both my monitors. So we click on new and do a search. So I'll search for myself and go. And this is the output. So it's not particularly useful. And this could be not always first name and last name. It could be something else. It depends on how your Active Directory and uh, user profile um, database is set up or not database that's the on-premise version um, version but depends on how this comes back from system so it's not a good way of saying I want to get the first name out of this string the better way is to use the user profile lookup now what do I mean by that so let's go to our form again now um, actually let's take a different step let's go close and let's have a look at what I was talking about with that user profile database before if you go to your site, and if you've got admin access to your portal, you'll be able to see uh, the admin area here. Clicking on admin takes you to the admin of Office 365 tenant, and you go show all, and you want to go to SharePoint. Now we can close the admin area. We're just interested in the SharePoint admin center. And we click on more features, and then we go to user profiles. Click on user profiles, and now we can see this is the area where SharePoint or 365 manages its user profiles or, or, or people, I guess you could say. Now it's broken up into two things, manage user properties and manage user profiles. So let's go and have a look at my user profile first. So I'm going to search for myself, find, and there I am there. So I'm going to open that up, profile, delete it. And it's got a bunch of properties in here. So first name, last name, name, work phone, so on and so forth. And so that might, uh, let's say, that might have been Gamble E or could have been something else. So it's not really reliable. What we really want is first name and last name. Now this may not be populated in your user profile service. So keep in mind, this won't work if you haven't filled out these fields properly or they're not synchronized from Active Directory appropriately. So first you've got to make sure you've got good data inside your user profile service. Um, now, if, if, if that's not right, that's probably a different video. That's more of a Office 365 um, issue that you need to look into. But once you've got all your data sorted, uh, you'll be able to go and search based on these properties here. Now you can even see I've also got a manager here. So my manager Al has come through in a people field here. So if we go back, how do we know what the properties are? So if you come back again and what you'll see, manage user properties. So there's different properties that you can then um, query from Nintex Forms to say, okay, based on this input of this people picker, go and get their first name or their last name. So if we were to say get first name on edit, the thing we need, you can't just type in first space name. You've actually got to use the, um, the name or the internal name. So it's first, no space, name. Now that's the display one, but it won't work with Nintex. You've got to use that internal name. Now, be mindful that you've got to get that syntax right. So if we look at, um, I think it's preferred name or name. There we go, so name. There's a field called name. Now, if you were to type in uh, with the user profile function in Nintex Forms and said, get me name, it's not going to know what to do with it because internally it's called preferred name where it has display name is just name. So always check the properties you're querying to make sure that you've got the syntax right and um, from here, not from the display type. So now that we've got that covered, we know the properties we want. So we want first name and last name. 
pretty simple no space uh, camel case so then let's come through to here we're going to say um, uh, people yeah. put that there and next we're going to say um, first name Another one last name oops first to bold all right, so now we need to uh, put two properties in here. So I'm going to draw go and press insert. We're going to create a variable, and I'm going to call this first first name bar um, first name. So I really know it's the variable. And what I want to do is go user, and you can see there's user profile lookup. Now, if you're not familiar, you can always go and search for the uh, the, the help and go and learn all about it but what you basically want to do is well let's have a look here user profile you want to pass in a uh, email or a, um, a people picker or something and then we're looking for property name so the internal property name so like we said before pass in the, an email address or a people picker and then that specific syntax we looked at before a preferred name or uh, where are we first name so it's really important to get this right basically so let's come back here while it loads we're going to say uh, person lookup is our people picker and we're going to say first name because we know that was the, the property syntax there and there we go there so we've got that there all right so we've got our first name created create and insert and we're going to second one and we'll say uh, insert Create variable uh, var last name. Again, use the profile lookup, and we'll put in person lookup, which is our um, it's our people picker. And again, last name. And as I said, don't always assume the the um, the internal name based on the display name of that property. They can be different. Okay, create and insert. So we've now got these properties. I'm unbold that one. I think go bold. Can't help myself. Bold. All right, go publish, and we'll close this guy. Close this art guy. We don't need those properties anymore. Go back to my form. Click on new. Now, if I search for me now, gamble, and then we see now. So it's come back with what the value this control has. But then it's also gone, gone and done a, a user profile lookup to that database and found my first name. And my last name and I could say well actually it's not you put in Al and look up Al um, bunch of Al's uh, it's big boss isn't it big Al there he is. big boss Alfredo Pacino um, so he's my boss so let's say I wanted to um, in this first name and last name I actually wanted Al Pacino Alfred Pacino sorry so let's uh, clear that and how do we put my name in here and get the boss? So let's go here. Let's let's do something here. Say so copy these, paste, and go um, boss first name, boss last name. Now we've got var first name, var last name, and number of variables, and we're going to copy one of those. So what we need to do is we're going to go var boss first name. First name. What to do? So first, we need to do a user profile lookup for manager. It's going to output that for a sec. Let's just see if that works. Let's go and get rid of that one. That one. Insert. Big Boss first name and that's just going to come back with the manager pretty much unformatted but we just want to make sure that the manager property is actually the manager property internal name because I couldn't be bothered opening up the um, the admin center again because it takes too long okay so we've got me and Ewan Gamble what have I done wrong it still hasn't come through yet so press refresh did I publish okay so it was just a just a a little bit longer to publish and there we go so now we can see big boss coming through which is great so it knows about this property so when i'm coming through and i go variables and i come to here and i said use profile lookup 
find me, but get back manager. Now once we've got that, we actually have to do another user profile lookup. So we can copy this, paste this, we go user profile lookup, and grab this, okay, first name, first name, like that. And so what's happening is um, we, let me think about this. So profile lookup um, is, okay, we'll get rid of that one. There we go. So what's happening now is we're saying, do a user profile lookup with the user profile lookup to go and get the manager. Once it, comes, once it gets that, it's going to come back with that claims thing we saw before, which is this one here. It's going to go, okay, I got that. And then we've got that. We put that in this highlighted section. So, okay, get me the first name of the manager. Okay, let's update that and let's publish and let's see if this actually works. Okay, so type in Ewan, go, and nothing's come back. Back. Go done wrong. Fresh that. Nothing. I have done something wrong, obviously, so let's have a look. Fist name. So unfortunately, fist name is not a property. So let's put an R in there. Update that. So uh, fist name is not a property to know. Okay, so let's refresh again. And let's go Ewan. Okay, and Alfredo's come through. So that was my uh, fat fingers stuffing that. So now we can copy that and any other variable, we'll call this var uh, boss last name. Paste this in, and you guessed it, we just have to put in L A S T last name, and we're done. Now we do have to go and put the variable into the label though. So let's go var big boss last name, and I don't want that bold, thank you very much. Okay, so let's go publish and let's refresh. And there we go, Alfred Pacino. Uh, Alfred Pacino is not actually my boss, but uh, there you go. So that's how you can use the user profile lookup to get the first name and the last name, or get the manager's first name and last name, or it could be phone number, or whatever you choose. We could even take it a third step and get the manager's manager, or the person's manager's manager, yeah. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, certainly let me know in the comments below or if you'd like to see something else. Cheers.